Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. If you caught the last video, you'll notice that things are looking very different around here, and that's because there's been loads of changes that I've implemented since the last episode. The first thing you'll see is the enemy model, which has been completely revamped and redone. I just wasn't happy with how they were looking before, and I tried a few prototypes, but this was the one that I was most satisfied with. I think it looks great. It's got a, uh, a ninja-ish vibe to it, and uh, the color scheme just looks far more crisp and far more natural to the game's feel than the, any of the others. I attempted to rig him up with some animations using uh, Blender, which went, well, well, not very well. You'll also notice I added some particle effects to each swing with the katana. I think that looks very good, um, and it wasn't exactly the desired effect that I was going for. I was going for more of a basic black line after each swing or something like that. But I found with a bit of tweaking that the blue and green actually looked quite nice so I decided to keep it in the game as a feature and I'm very happy with it. I also changed the color of the ground to a white texture instead of a black one. I think this helps you see the enemies better, see your weapons better and just increases the visibility of the game a lot. I uh, had some problems with visibility and uh, some people in the comments uh, made points about that after the last episode, especially the particles upon the shooting of the robot enemies, and um, because of this I made it so that it, it's much more obvious. The enemy is firing a projectile at you rather than a shotgun slug shot or something like that. I also added this uh, six shooter revolver weapon that you see. Um, I was really happy with the way it turned out, molded it in Blender, and imported it into the game. It has a very satisfying uh, barrel spin animation to it and kickback. I just thought it was a, a it's, it's my favorite weapon. It's brilliant. I, I, I really love it. And it does 50 damage, and it's, it's a straight shot, very accurate. Hard to hit enemies, but rewarding if you do. You can now pause the game at any time, and there are options to quit or to resume. Um, going back to the level select at the start, you now have the option to choose from endless mode, level 1 or level 2. Now I'll show you all of these in turn, starting off with level 2. So here it is, the grand reveal. Uh, it looks much more intimidating than level 1 and much more well designed. That's because I put far more time into it than level 1 and I think it's way better for it. So I'm going to go into it now. You can see that the enemies chase you once you start going down and all of the robots begin shooting at you at the same time. It's pretty difficult to survive this stage. You have to be constantly strafing back and forth. And uh, you should probably be using the six shooter. Me choosing the AR here was probably a bad idea, but that's all right. Uh, I think I do go on to survive, spoiler alert. But anyway, uh, there's a bridge here that you have to cross with a row of three enemies. Uh, I'm using this, the sword, of course. It looks awesome, why wouldn't I use it? And uh, now you have two choices. Actually, just kidding, they're both gonna attack you from either side anyway, so you don't really have much of a choice. You have to fight them, and then, once you defeat these last little enemies here, wait for it, you finish the level. How epic. I'm definitely gonna add more levels like this in the future. I'm really happy with this one. Now on to the next. This is Endless Mode. Well. It's actually just the procedurally generated levels that I showed you in a previous video, but I thought implementing it as a kind of infinite level generation, play it whenever you want uh, kind of thing, could be a good implementation for the future of this game. Perhaps you could play this game mode in order to earn coins, which you could use to buy items within the game or something like that i just wanted to include it just to make sure i didn't leave anything out and just because it's it's a fun little feature i have in the game why not put it into 
put it into the game for now. It might get removed in the, into the final game. I'm not sure. Tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, well, I know this video has been very long, but I do really appreciate any of you who, who have stuck around until this point. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I have a lovely day.